Over the past seven years, the U.S. government, through U.S. aid, embarked on financing capacity building programs in Ramwanja refugee settlement in Kamwenge district, dubbed graduating to resilience. Um, the idea was that out of these uh, 13,000 plus individuals, 70% uh, of 75% the, of them will be able to graduate. But as we have had today, uh, we did not only hit that target, but we also surpassed it. We had more than 80% of these individuals being able to become resilient. The project was implemented by AFSI, Trickle Up, and the American Institute for Research, focusing on rehabilitating people who were traumatized by war and forced to flee their homes. The project designed manuals to include refugees into a financial cycle. And coaching basically helps to build this hope, the resilience, the self-efficacy, the belief that you can actually do something. And since it's done every week by an individual, imagine you are not meeting anyone, nobody's coming to your home for a visit, and here is somebody now who is visiting you and talking to you every day, saying they care about you, asking you to do a better plan. So that aspect helps you with your mindset. They come here for different reasons. And uh, when they do come here, we have limited resources. So now this program was looking at how do we use these limited resources to ensure that these people who have come here to be supported can be able to be supported in a meaningful way. The American government commends the government of Uganda for their open-door policy for refugees and commits more support towards refugees' capacity building. And on very uh, specific terms, over 96% of children, for example, that are participated in households or were part of the households that participate in these programs now have enough to eat. That in and of itself is an enormous accomplishment. And we are very proud uh, to support uh, these activities, that they have real achievements, they have real results, and that they benefit the maximum amount of people. The project has at least benefited 13,608 refugees and host community households towards the navigation paths to stability and overcoming challenges of traumatization. Komagum Rogers and Abdul Nasil Wama for UBC.